Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the NK video. Sorry that I didn't do a review for the previous unit, but I guess it was for the best so that you wouldn't be tempted to pull because now it's just now it's, it's holiday time and we all know what that means. It means there's gonna be a lot of banners. So first of all, we don't know anything about the next one. Uh, the Mika one. So I can't relay any of that information in this video, but we can know about the Ludmilla who's a complete redesign because if you look at her previous self, it was like she's... Her expression is much different, so yeah. Oh well, anyways, machine gun user, attacker, water. That's a good thing to see because uh, there aren't very many of this. Uh, usually there's something else. So first skill is really, really, really good. Um, paired with a certain cube that will allow you to reload or reload more often, like reload faster or just have more bullets. One of those would be really good. And so this damage taken buff will be happening quite often because 60 normal attacks with a machine gun is not that bad. At least it's not 120. If it was 120, we'd probably be talking a little bit differently uh, about this unit. But since it's 60, it's not so bad if you have the right cube. And on top of that, you were able to reload 20, so you're actually getting, you're actually getting a head start into the next one. So it kind of like it's like a self fulfilling prophecy here, where like if as soon as after the first 60, you're already a head start onto the next one is what I'm seeing here, and I already saw it in game. It's basically how that it, how that works. Okay, so good first ability, second ability kind of uh, not as good, but still good. Uh. Because there are a lot of bosses that have core mechanics, so whatever the core may be, uh, the boss, there's a lot of bosses that have core re core reveals, so um, maybe you beat me seeing them all around, you know, a lot of bosses. So good for that, but unfortunately, the last part there, you know, when you usually hear about critical hits, you usually think it's a, a good thing, <laughs> and most times they're overpowered or really good, but unfortunately, in this game, critical hits never had a chance because of the damage calculations are kind of wacky when it comes to critical hits so they're really pretty much i wouldn't say useless but very on the low end like at the lowest of the low you can go in terms of mechanics you'd want to have on a unit unfortunately so the critical hits kind of kind of, kind of worthless but it is what it is and then the last one very 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 valuable on a machine gun unit that's a huge attack boost on top of the reload speed. Now if you have a cube for reload speed, you're gonna be able to do it even better. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm still getting over this uh, sickness. So perks or pros, she's water. There aren't very many of those. She's self-sustaining pretty much. She can always have that damage taken uh, buff or debuff for the boss, I suppose. Uh, it's all always be up. Or it's, it's damage taken for the boss, so the the dam the boss will always take more damage. I thought that was dam I thought that was damage the arrow be pointing down. Apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so yeah, it's it's really good. She's really good, except for the crit the critical hit thing is like whatever. I mean, you just basically ignore it. I, I know it's kind of it, some of you guys may think that it's like a downer. Like, oh, I want the whole kit to be good, but unfortunately, in terms of multiple games. In terms of units when you try and get them not everything can be perfect because if that's the case they're gonna have to make the next unit even better so uh besides the critical thing then she's very good um doesn't have very many aoe attacks so probably in story she probably won't be the absolute best of all time she'd probably be just something you bring if you're a new player and you don't have anything else i used to be that way I would bring anything I have to like story mode or campaign or whatever, just just to fill fill the void because you need something. Um, for PvP, no, she doesn't do anything in PvP. No AOE attacks or any way of doing anything. So not PvP. However, in solo raids or co-op or the special modes, the special bosses. She'd probably be the best in the, in this in those situations, especially solo raid, especially since she can be put on pretty much any team because she's basically a self-sustaining DPS. She has her own attack buff. She has re own, her own reload speed. Um, she doesn't have any CDR, but you can always get someone for that. That's the point of putting her on a team, right? She can't do everything by herself, but she can do a lot of things by herself. So I think she is definitely worth a pull. Is she worth going all out? 
I don't know if she's worth going all out because you know there's still the other one, the the Mika of the story, and who knows if she's gonna be good or not. Like I said, I, I, we don't know, so we don't know if she's gonna be good, but we will be doing some pulls on this video. Probably not a lot. If I can get one of her for like one pull, that'd be great. But we'll see what happens. So well, since we're doing a holiday pull, we might as well have a holiday hat on to associate with that. But I don't really want to go too all out. I say that every time I do pulls and I do I go a lot anyways, but her not to. I saw a lot of people getting like really good luck, but it looks like that's not gonna be the case for me. I'm not built that way. I don't get two units in one pull kind of a thing, but you know, there's one there. Now if it's one of her, then that's that's good enough for me. But if it's an off banner pull, it is what it is, you know. It's an off banner pull, I can't use that. Nothing there. Okay, these tickets have been really disappointing. I was hoping to get lucky because I actually got really lucky during the anniversary. Maybe that's maybe my luck is getting caught up to me. Okay, so there's one at the very end. But yeah, I got very lucky at the anniversary. I got three red hoods from the daily summons, the free ones. So I guess this is catching up to me uh, that I'm not going to get it lucky for a little while. So I don't know. What? Is she on a raid up or something? Like what the heck? I do not need you. Believe that. I do not need you. Okay, looks like we're going. Looks like we're going a little, little hard, harder than I thought I was going to be going. But okay. Uh, where are we at? I don't want to go too too far, but. Okay, well we might, we might as well go because I I'd like to also if it's possible get the. The fairy, but we're not gonna get anything. Looks like. Looks like we're not even gonna get one on banner unit. That's that's really sad. We got it was like a uni raid up. That's really sad. That's it. That's all I can do. I don't have anything else. That's sad. I got two of the same character in different pulls. Like what the heck? So the rates, I mean, it's 4%, but it doesn't feel like it's 4%. It feels like it's like 2% or less. Uh, I would like, would like to have gotten the Miracle Fairy because I only have one of her, but didn't get any, and I didn't get any of Ludmilla. So it looks like that dream is dead. Uh, it is what it is, guys. You know, what can you do? Well, I've got, so thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Disappointed, but... Can't always win. I got very lucky during the anniversary, so I suppose I have to just take the L. Hope you guys aren't going to take the L. Hope you guys get some good pulls, and I'll see you in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.